Welcome everyone to episode 530 of Bullfreak's Current Call. I am your host, the man that does walkthroughs, playthroughs, gameplays, vlogs, nice made new kill cards, all the stuff man could ever imagine, and that's Bullfreak224. Now, as far as the gaming news for this weekend, now, <clears throat> if you're looking forward to to the next DLC character arriving in the King of Fire 15, SK has it coming with their official character breakdown vi vi video for Nodge. SK's five minute character breakdown goes in depth with Nodge playstyle, special moves, and her unique color coded move leveling system. See if I find the information from this. Okay, hold on. SK yet announced a final release date for Nudge, but she's slated to join the King of Fighters 15 sometime this summer. After watching Nudge care to break down, scroll down for a roundup of SNK's recent breakdown videos on Gona's Sylvie Paula Paula and Camp Compound Wine. Since we didn't post since they didn't post SNK's previous KOF 15 breakdown videos for the game's most recent DLC characters. Here's a roundup of all of them below if you're looking to catch up on King of Fighters 15's newest editions. Okay, Nodge is the fourth paid DLC character for King of Fighters 15 Season 2. In case you missed it, it you missed it earlier this month, jump over to our previous article to watch Nodge character reveal trailer. The most recent King of Fighters 15 Season 2 roadmap can be found below. Following Nodge, Two additional characters are planned to join the game in autumn and winter. To recap some, re some, some recent King of Fire 15 news last month, SNK released Gonez as free of DLC and updated King of Fire 15 with Crossplay, uniting the bases from PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Keep your five generation for more SNK news. An EVO, an EVO, an, an Evolution Championship Series 2023 is coming up this weekend, August 4th. To the six, which is today, featuring eight main games and over 9,000 competitors from around the world. The official stream has been released, so you can be sure not to miss your favorite titles being played by the best in the world. Okay, note that all times are subject to change, which is common for a tournament this big. Take a look at the EVO 2023 stream schedules below. Click any of the images below to open the full size version of the new window for easier reading. Okay, Evo Evo 2023 will bring in a will bring in 9182 unique players all around the globe. Impre an impressive 81.8% increase over Evo's last last year's Evo's 5,052 entrants. Below is a graph showing the most entered fighting games in Evo, at EVO 23 by country. The majority, however, okay, players from 71 different countries will be competing at EVO 23. However, the majority of players are coming from North America with a total of 8,145 players from the U.S. registered for the event. Okay, EVO 2023 takes place in August 4th through the 6th at the Mandalay Bay Resort Casino in Las Vegas, which is which is which, which is close to Arizona and um, California. I'm not so sure. Anyways, for additional information about EVO Championship tw Series 2023, visit the official site EVO.gg. As always, stay tuned on the final generation for upcoming news and announcements on EVO 2023. And last week, Riot Games revealed new details about new details and gameplay for Project L and a, a confirmed demo at Evo 2023. While initially confirming three playable fighters for the demo, Ika, Henri, and Darius, the fourth and final playable character for Evo 2023 demo, Yasuo, was confirmed. Additionally, Riot Games released move versus for all four for, for all. Four, all four playable characters. The fourth and final character, Yasuo, has been confirmed. Check out Yasuo's gameplay reveal trailer from Riot Games. 
Additionally, Riot Games released booth lists for all four play characters in addition to a universal mechanics guide below to assist players to try out the demo at EVO. Click any of the images below click any of the images to open them in a new window for easier reading. Okay. Evo 2023 takes place at August 4th through the 6th at the Mandalay Bay Resort and, and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. Stay tuned for Friday's duration for more for more Project L news. And during Evo 2023, Arches of Works announced on the 9th birth 2's Sis Celeste, a sequel to French Brothers' ongoing 2D series, the light novel-style fighting game sequel presents the final chapter in the Hollow Knight storyline that began in the original title over a decade ago. Sis Celeste, featuring 12, 21 returnable fighters with expanded move voices and new, wait for it, wait for it, abilities, along with new unannounced characters joining the roster. On the ninth Ember, Sis Celeste will arrive in 2024 on PlayStation 4 and 5, Nintendo Switch, and Steam. Robot Netcode has been confirmed for the title. See the official On the Night Ember of 2 Sis Celeste main visual, HD logo, and screenshots from today's press release below. I'm looking at oh, well, well, these, well, these, these are. I'm, I'm definitely, buy, I'm definitely buying this game either for PlayStation 4 or Switch. Okay. Once again, Under the Inverse 2 Sis Celeste will arrive sometime in 2024 on PlayStation 4 and 5, Nintendo Switch, and Steam. Keep your five generation for updates and continue Evo 2023 coverage. And during Evo 2023, Capcom announced four upcoming Street Fighter 6 Costume 3 DLC outfits for four un four popular characters on the roster: Yuri Han, Marissa. Guile and DJ. While no in-game footage or screenshots of the new costumes have been shared just yet, Capcom released the official concept artwork for all four of these upcoming DLC costumes. See if I find some information for this. Okay, Capcom did not announce exactly when these costumes will become available in-game, but it's set to stay tuned. Stay tuned on Friday's generation for continued covers and more Street Fighter 6 news during EVO 2023. And last but not least here, following the EVO 2023 Kilo Resident Exhibition Friday evening, Iron Galaxy and Microsoft announced a 10th anniversary balance update will be coming to King of Fighters, not, not King of Fighters, um, Killer Instinct this fall. While new, while no new content for KI twenty twenty three was announced, the balance update will contain character adjustments, four K support for Xbox Series consoles, and match made, and a matchmaking upgrade. Upgrade to, to to make online play smoother. Besides that, no further details or release date were provided. So stay tuned for Fire for Fighter Generation for more Evo twenty twenty three twenty twenty three announcements. Alright you guys, that is it for my gaming news for today. On to my channel update. I did a lot of live videos this week today. So here goes. I did my I did I did my, I did my, I did a gameplay on NFL Blitz on the N64. I gotta do one today during N64 Saturdays. I did I did seven Soul Calibur six matches. I did five Soul Calibur five matches. I also did a, a gameplay on Mario Tennis, which is the Japanese version, not to be, not, not to get confused, with the American version. I showed off my Monarch, my, my Monarch Deck profile. I just, I just completed the, the Monarch Deck profile because I got three time tier Morganites, so that that makes the deck more powerful than that. So yeah, I also did a team battle mode gameplay on Virtual Fighter Two. I also did seven Blade Runner Profile matches. Five Soul Calibur two matches. Let's see. Okay, and 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 a season mode video on Madden NFL '97, which was a Sega Saturn title. 
Um, I did a team battle on gameplay on Tekken 3. I also did seven Dragon Ball Z Budokai 1 matches. Six, uh, wait. Yeah, yeah, six Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 matches. And I also did a team battle mode gameplay on Tekken 2. Um, I also did a gameplay on, another gameplay on NFL Blitz 2000 on the Dreamcast. I did a versus mode gameplay on Power Stone 2. We're on our way, we're on our way to 100. If I do, if I do like a, if I, if I make it to 100 matches in Power Stone 2, I might be able to do a, a, a playthrough on the Power Stone series. So please stay tuned. On, during Dreamcast Wednesdays, in case you guys are wondering. Um, I, I did seven Soul Cabo 1 matches. I also did a game, I also did a playthrough with Evil Ryu on Street Fighter Alpha 3. Wait. Street Fighter Alpha 3 has a, has a Dreamcast title? It's supposed, it's supposed to be for, for, um, for Street Fighter Thursdays, but, but since, but since Street Fighter Alpha 3 was a Dreamcast title, I had to, like, put it in, I had to put it in there for, for Dreamcast Wednesdays. So, yeah. I also did, I also did seven King of Fighters 15 matches, and I also did an, an arcade mode on, with, with Ticket on Mortal Kombat X. Hopefully I can do, hopefully I can do some arcade ladders on Mortal Kombat 11 on the Switch, because Mortal Kombat X and 11 are both Mortal Kombat titles, so, so it's perfect for King of Fighters slash Mortal Kombat Fridays. So, yeah. I also did a game, I also did a playthrough on Street Fighter 2 Turtle on the, on the Super NES, on, on the Super NES, was Zangief. And I also did seven Ultra Street Fighter 2 matches, and I also did six, wait, six, wait, six Street Fighter 3 Third Strike on the Dreamcast. I also did, I also did my next story mode on, on the King of Fighters Maximum Impact Maniacs. I had done those for quite a while now, so I'm going to start doing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get started on that as soon as possible on those. So, yeah. Um, another note, um, I'm currently, I'm, I'm currently saving, I'm currently saving up some money. Oh, yeah. First off, um, next Sunday is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Regional Championship. The, today is the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship, which is going on right now. I'm about to, I'm about, I'm about to tune in right now. So, hopefully, next, hopefully next Sunday, once I save up all my money, up, I'll definitely go, go, go regionals. The regionals is that Cool Stuff Games on, on Hollywood, Florida. So please, so please, so please, sure to, 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 to go, to go check me out if you want to meet and greet me at at, at Cool Stuff Games. So um, I'll 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 do, I'll do I'll probably do some autographs auto uh, autograph signings or something like that. I'm not I'm not that very, I'm not that very good at good giving autographs, but hey, if if you're a YouTuber, you you, you gotta learn how, how how to be famous. So. I wanna do. I wanna try to. I wanna try to do some dudes and meet. Go, go do. Go, go do a little meet and greet. Hopefully ne ne next Sunday during the Yu-Gi-Oh regionals. So please come on out. So come on out. Meet and greet me. Or you you, you can keep watching my videos on, on, online. So please stay tuned for more videos in the near future as well. Yeah. Well, that's gonna do for another episode of Bullface Current Call. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like my videos, leave a comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you guys have it. Go back and watch our episodes. Don't forget to ring the bell to be notified for any new videos here. And make sure you join my YouTube manager as well for early access to new and unreleased videos. And don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and the online, as well as I and PSZ. Until the next one, you guys, stay connected. Peace!